Mm. Mm. All right. Today's video is Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Um, movie came out in 1949. Um, oh, drink today. Uh, I didn't didn't have a special drink, so just doing uh, whiskey and ginger ale. Um, didn't have a specific drink for this one. Uh, I tried to find one, but all I could find was a Negroni. It was a Mr. Toad's Negroni. Um, and the only thing I could think of with that one was just a Negroni with Spagliato with Prosecco in it. And I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to make a Negroni. Boo, you stink! Um, yeah, so, th so, all right, so this video starts off, obviously, you, because of the time period, it's got like a shit ton of credits. Um, fucking in the credits, so Bing Crosby is in this movie. Um, that's fucking cool. I fucking love Mr. Bing Crosby. He's a cool dude. I uh, grew up watching a lot of his movies, and that's fucking cool. He narrates uh, the second half of this movie, and he sings a little bit. That's kind of fucking cool. Um, but there's two parts. There's the Mr. Toad part, and then there's the Ichabod part. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get, go over both. Um, so Mr. Toad part. Um, so Mr. Toad is a frog. Well, technically he's a toad, but whatever. So he has some friends, Rat, uh, himself, Toad, Badger, and Mole. They're all friends, which is kind of weird in the Animal Kingdom, but you know, whatever. Um, and Toad's kind of a dick bag, and he kind of just like fucking goes off and does whatever he wants. And he just like destroys a lot of shit. And he so the badger dude is like sitting there in Toad's house and he's like counting the receipts and he's like, fuck man, there's a lot of fucking money. And he just like sits there complaining about the fact that he has all these bills coming up. And like that the that part of the movie just reminded me of like the dad from fucking uh Wolf of Wall Street coming in and like yelling at Jordan Belfort for his like, why did you spend all this money? And you go ordered all the fucking sides. Tell them about the sides. I ordered the sides. So sides? Yeah. Sides? $26,000 yeah. worth of sides? <laughs> what are these sides? They cure cancer? The sides did cure cancer. That's the problem. They were there. That's why they were expensive. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm but yeah, like, Toad is kind of a reckless asshole. He kind of just, like, rides around on his horse and buggy and shit and just kind of, like, destroys shit and does whatever he wants and just kind of vibing. But he's kind of a reckless asshole um so that's kind of a thing um and then at one point like so like he gets arrested uh and shit and so like he trade apparently he traded his entire house his entire estate for a car and we find this out during the court scene right that he literally like he didn't know that somebody had stolen the car and then they were just like hanging out in this bar and he's like you know what i'll trade my entire house just for this one car like, that's reckless as fuck. It's fucking stupid. Let alone the fact that he traded it as some bandits. But it's just fucking stupid. It doesn't make any sense, right? And he goes to jail, and he's in jail for a little bit, and then his horse dresses up as a grandma and, like, come in, comes in and, like, breaks him out of jail, right? And breaks... So he's... And so he's, like, running away from the cops and shit. And, like, in this movie, they literally just start, like shooting at him like they pull out guns and they're just like pow, 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 pow. and i'm like holy shit is this a fucking disney movie like are they really fucking doing that but yeah they do it they just start pew, 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 just start shooting it's crazy it's actually fucking crazy that they that they have all the that shit that was just nuts and like in the bar they're getting all drunk and shit and later on the the, the thieves and shit are getting all drunk and shit i'm like are we sure we sure this is a disney movie but yeah it's a disney movie um so, like, dude's a convict, right? He, he literally escapes from jail. And where's the first place he goes? He goes to his friend's house. He goes to the rat's house. You son of a bitch. And it's just like he's putting all his friends at risk. Like, that's kind of fucked up, right? Like, even if the dude's fucking innocent, like, you don't... You, you, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. And then they have to like go into the house and do all this like fucking Ocean's Eleven heisting shit just to steal back the deed of the house because like the bartender is apparently the leader of the rat pack or the weasel pack or whatever. And he's just got like 
the fucking deed to his hat to the house just like chilling in his his jacket or whatever and so they have to like literally fucking they like drop mole in on on like a wire to go in and like grab it and he fucking fucks it up next scene cleared of all wrongdoing just because he has the deed to his house like th th that didn't make any sense he's just immediately cleared a wrongdoing his se his sentence has been commuted doesn't matter never he was in he's innocent all because he owns that's literally the reason that the movie gives is oh he has his deed he's he's innocent now what hello that doesn't make any sense I, I I don't know. Um, and then they're all like, "Oh yeah, he's better. He made he learned from his lesson, not to be reckless and and shit." And then immediately, he buys an airplane. He gets an airplane, and he's just flying the airplane around. And it's just like, dude didn't learn his lesson. He's kind of again. He's just back to being a reckless asshole. Hey bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet. That's it. It's just like what? That doesn't make any sense. But whatever whatever uh and then it goes to the ichabod story and like the <clears throat> the toad story is narrated by a british guy and like all the characters are british and then it goes to the ichabod story which takes place in new york city and so they have bing crosby narrating the story which is pretty cool and then he like sings and shit <laughs> um and i i don't know if he's he does the voice of ichabod it kind of sounded like him uh, but Ichabod doesn't talk very much, so you know you don't really know, right? Um, and so there's this like big bad in the movie or in in this story. The dude's name is Brom Bones, and I swear to God, this guy is literally just Gaston. That is, that's it. He's just Gaston. The, the entire story is just him being Gaston. That's it. Like. And then, like, the story, when the story starts, like, the entire time, like, the narrator uh, and all the townspeople and shit, all they're doing is talking about how Ichabod looks weird and how he's funny looking and big ass feet and all this shit just because he's, he's different, whatever. And then out of nowhere, so then we meet Katrina, who's like the super hot chick. And, and the one that everybody's trying to simp over and follow and just, just like shit, you know? And, and and her dad's really rich and that's why ichabod falls in love with her he's like oh my god because dude loves to eat by the way very important thing he loves to eat he loves like really nice meals and so like he number one falls in love with her because she's beautiful but then he also realizes oh shit he, and he literally says this he's like oh shit i can marry her and i could be happy but also her dad's really rich and he's got this big farm he's got the biggest farm ever I can get all this free food and then also i can make a lot of money because of this but also she's beautiful but also the money and it's like bro <laughs> whatever so then this gaston character brom is like constantly trying to win katrina's heart and katrina just like at first doesn't notice ichabod but then you know uh, she's tired of all these other dudes simping over her and then she realizes that ichabod's dope and that he's really cool and so like if she falls for ichabod and that's that's cool right and then like brahm's just jealous that the ichabod that she's choosing ichabod over him so he like tries to so many different ways and to like kill him or to try to like get him out of the picture so he can go after the girl um and then there's like a halloween party at her house like the entire town is is invited and then brahm literally tries like 15 different ways to try to get ichabod away from the girl or like to try to throw him down some stairs or whatever just to get him out of the way so he can get the girl and he's like fuck it doesn't work doesn't work at all and then he's like you know what ichabod's a fucking bitch he's scared of, of scary stories i'm gonna tell a scary story and he does he tells a scary story and then ichabod gets scared that's just he just gets scared and that's it that's over and then so he like runs away at the end of the night it all happened all the stories and stuff all there's a party i think happens at like midnight or the stories happen at midnight or whatever but he tells the story of 
Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman. That's the story that he tells. And Ichabod gets scared as fucking shit. So he's like, all right, fuck, I got to go home. So he goes home. And what does he do? How does he go home? He, he, he goes through the graveyard and through the woods, which is where what he's most afraid of. And guess what? It's fucking scary. But guess what? He fucking gets chased by the Headless Horseman. And like this, this scene kind of reminded me of back in like Snow White when she was running through the woods and she was getting all scared because like she's he gets like distracted by all these things that like could be the, th the bad guy, but aren't really the bad guy. And so he's just like, whatever. But then he does actually get chased by the Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman's got this big ass fucking knife with the big you know jack-o-lantern. And he's just like trying to chop, you know, Ichabod's head off and shit. There's like a horse chase and shit and then Ichabod has the opportunity He has the opportunity to, to escape He almost made it past the, to the river where he can cross the bridge and he didn't and I think it was twice I think it was two separate times. He didn't do it. He's fucking stupid He's just like no, nope, I'm gonna go the other way and just like keeps running back and forth eventually he makes it to the bridge and then the he make he makes it through the bridge and then the headless horseman throws his jack-o-lantern and scene changes we find out ichabod fucking disappears and then guess what brahm gets the girl and they get they get happily live happily ever after end of story like what like i don't know overall like i really really enjoyed this it was entertaining i wouldn't say that it was like a good story but it was very entertaining um it was very short like an hour and nine minutes or something like that very very short movie um the two different stories were entertaining i definitely had some problems with it, it was entertaining the one thing that i did have a problem with um through more this is more through the ichabod part but also a little bit part of the toad part was there's a lot of voiceover like a lot of narrating and stuff and that kind of bothered me it's like i kind of just wanted you to show me everything instead of but specifically with ichabod like there was a lot of narration there wasn't a lot of dialogue in the ichabod story um and that was kind of bothersome um there was some songs there were some cool cool songs in it i definitely enjoyed it um but yeah definitely not enough dialogue in the ichabod part for sure um overall i had a good time with it um not great not terrible so i'm gonna give it a very simple six out of ten um i think that's a good a good you know number for this movie i again not great not awful very middle of the road but i still had a good time so yeah six out of ten Thank you guys very much for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you got, would like to see and continue to see more videos like this, please, it would mean a lot to me if you guys subscribe, trying to push these videos out to as many people as possible and subscribing lets YouTube know that people are interested in this. Um, I'm very excited to see what the next movie is. I think it is. Yes, it is. It's Cinderella um, for next week. I'm very excited about it. Um, one of my favorite movies growing up. We're going to see if it holds up now, um, but I'm very excited about it. Uh, that will be next week. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Um, if you guys want to let me know of any drinks that I should do in the future or uh, any movies that you guys are excited about, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys very much for being here. I'm Joe the Bearded Nerd. Take it easy, guys.